Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Outlook. In this module, I want to have a quick look at how to send an email and how to reply to an email. So first of all, I've got some training accounts set up here. I'm going to select new mail from the top and then I get the new mail dialog box appearing, which gives me some options. So it's telling me it's from me and I need to address it to somebody. So I'll address it to my, you know, my training accounts. Now you've got CC, which means carbon copy and BCC um, there. If you want somebody else to receive this email, you can select them from this. So I'll put that in there, send that. And if you don't want other people to know that um, certain people are going to get this, you can put them into this BCC. So when they receive the email, they won't see who else got that. So it's just going to me. And I've, I'll, I'll delete that one now. Don't want to carbon copy that. And then your subject line is going to be just test. And then you can just say hi. And then you type your message like so. Now I've got my signature block at the bottom here. That can be selected from your signatures. You might have more than one. That's just a plain one. That's a business one. And you can create your own by just going new. And then typing what you want in this box and then saving it and giving it a name and then you select how you want that to be used so for me i've got this one which is called sacks on new messages and on replies as well so that's how that works and the default is for it to be set to none click ok to that send the email it's doing a spell check for me because I just typed rubbish there. So I'll just ignore that and again, and then that goes. Now, this is going to this email address, which is one of my training email addresses. If I click on that, I can wait for it to come down or I can force it to come down by clicking on send and receive. And then that will go and um, click onto the server. And then you can see down the bottom here, it's sending that and we can wait for it or not so I'm not going to wait for that so now the email has come in and you can see that that is from me and you've got a preview pane on the right there where you've got reply reply to all and forward so I just want to reply to this a simple reply so clicking on reply and then it addresses it straight away back to the person who sent it to you and your address is at the top. And then you can type above this area, you've got a space to type and you can put your message in there. And I'll just put thanks for that. And then this, you repeat the process, you just send this and it goes back to the originating person. So then that would come into this email box and you would see it there. So now you can see the mail has now popped up in this mailbox. You saying thank you or thanks for the mail that you received in this one. So it's just a click of a button to reply to a message. So if I wanted to reply again, I could click that and it would go back and forward between the two of you. And you can see the history of whatever you've sent in the actual message itself. So there's the initial message and that's what you said. So that's how you send and receive uh, an email and how you reply to an email.